All right, so we left off on making sure that we had a header going on here and that we had stuff um, showing the stuff that we want. <clears throat> but we want the stuff that to show up to be a little bit better than this. This is very ugly. <laughs> this is pretty much just um, getting uh, all the styles that are coming um, inherited from the links, the, the regular anchor tag or a link so if we look at and inspect these right here you can see that these are just basically the anchor tag these are basically basically just a tags and that's why it looks like that if it if they were um uh, paragraphs for example then they will look a little different but in this case we need them to be anchor tags because we need them to go somewhere okay so that's why they're there so we're gonna do some things different here now so now we're going to set up um, some styles and there are ways that you can do this. We can do it by, well now that we know that we don't need this, we can just get rid of that, but um, we can do it by setting up, um, actually you know what, before we, we, we touch there, you see all this gray out stuff, that means that we're not using them. So it's always a good idea to get rid of stuff that we're not using so they're not rendering um, not rendering but they're not being imported for nothing and you know make slowing things down we're not using this fade as well Let me get rid of that all right good all right so back to this so we can do it by creating a class here that will only work for this particular header obviously and injecting it um injecting it just like this okay just passing it to a class name just like that and that is a great way to do it that's I mean in fact that's probably my favorite way to do it um, but I want to do it a little bit different on this one just because I want you to see how to use module SAS okay so I'm going to the header here and I'm gonna add a new file okay and this one is gonna be called by the same name header module s c s s and I hit enter all right, so now I'm using a header module SCSS, and here I can actually use CSS in SAS format, and it will only apply to the header and only the header because it has the module keyword in the name. We're not gonna go over the CSS part. Um, you can research what CSS is on your own. I'm just gonna put it here. And I'm gonna you just pause the video if you have to so you can see which styles it's a very small so uh, just copy that and write it down yourself there you go give you some time pause it okay so yeah so grab this stuff and I'm gonna go ahead and save it and now you have access to several classes here small link for mobile and link so I set up these three main classes for things that we're going to use here so remember when I said link and then we have somewhere else it says link for mobile so now that we have access to a header module we have access to a, um, a more um, a accurate type of rendering uh, rendering styles not more accurate but more um, specific like more specificity that it has to do only for the header uh, alone so we're going to bring in first of all we have to let this file know that it has its own module CSS so somewhere up here doesn't really matter where we're gonna import that modules uh, CSS that we created we're gonna call it header styles just so it could you know so we can be somewhat close to uh, you know a semantic name for it and then we're going to call it or find it right there at where it was it's right it's it's in the same file as the header so all you gotta do is just basically just you know you don't have to put that that forward slash and go back out you know, it'll be right there so now that it is important we gotta use it and to make use of it is very easy so now you can actually go to the link um, where you wanna whatever it is that you wanna use it and where, where are we using this uh, link for mobile for example and in here, instead of using this, I'm um, gonna get rid of this uh, quotes. 
I'm going to highlight the entire thing and do it this way. We're going to use header styles dot link for mobile. So now this class name is a little bit more pro programmatic and it's going to ensure that it uses the header styles which you imported up there and then it's going to go see inside that header module for this class. So we're using the same thing for the other one so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to copy this and then if you want you can do control D and it will select the next one and control D for the next one and then now control V and it will do all of them at the same time. Likewise we're going to go to this link here I'm going to paste that, but I'm going to get rid of the other. There you go. And just make a header styles link. So I'm going to copy that. And then control D, control D, and control V. There you go. So now if I hit and save, you will see some of the styles are going to change. Okay. Fail to compile. What happened? SAS loader. Header module CSS. Uh, cannot find. Cannot find module node SAS. Interesting. So node SAS did not load. Hmm. All right. Let's see. This is a good way to do some debugging together. So I'm gonna go to. Um, Mm -mm -mm -mm. try to find to see if there is if notes as is in there and it should be in my dependencies dependencies yeah you know what you're right notes as is not there so that's easy so how do how did I figure that out well it basically tells you right here in the error cannot find notes as so if you look at the errors whenever you're trying to build something you, you sh it should be able to somehow give you a um, little bit of a of, of a clue of you know of what's happening but uh, so anyway so we're gonna go ahead and install that so npm i for install um, and then uh, let's go ahead and save it and it is a node says run and that should add it to my package JSON so I'm just gonna delete that so that way you can add it and then we'll check it and that should take care of the problem, which is kind of is, is kind of uh, um, interesting that it didn't have that because um, it's my understanding that the Gatsby SAS package that we installed in the plugin um, was supposed to do this for us. So maybe there was something wrong with that plugin and it didn't do it. But no fret, we can still do it manually. Just give that a minute for it to finish and it should be fine in a second. All right, binary is fine. Everything looking good. All right, and it added it. Cool. All right, so now we can go ahead and uh, refresh, make sure that everything works. Okay. Well, it runs, but why is it not working? Okay, everything is looking good there. All right, let me just give it another refresh. All right, so this is using the header styles link. Header module, let's just uh, save that again. All right, let's go ahead and do a rebuild. My guess is that um, it needs to be rebuilt so Gatsby develop let's see we ran into something similar when we tried to use that try to add the header remember and um, sometimes you have to rebuild for it to actually compile into your public folder in here <clears throat> okay so just a few more seconds see if that fixes the problem if it doesn't then I'll probably just finish the video here and do some research on my own and figure out what's going on and then I'll come back in the next video and tell you guys what happened and uh, 
and how to fix it but there we go it works all right so that's all i needed to do it needed to be rebuilt uh in order for these header modules to actually be compiled into css because that's that's the problem css i mean sas is not under it, it the the pro the the browser does not understand sas just like the browser doesn't understand typescript and just like the browser doesn't understand pug right but all of these three sas typescript and pug are um are generators and they generate language they gen sas generates css uh typescript uh generates uh javascript and pug generates html uh, when they compile so if they don't compile then they'll never be able to provide those css files so in order for this to have to work the way it did right now it needed to compile and for it to compile it has to run on a develop so all right so we're good on that as you can see now we have some you know some good looking stuff here and if we look at the at the responsive one is also looking pretty good all right and that's all we got for now. See you guys in the next one.